This is the most common tank in the German army. It was one of the key players in the Blitzkrieg military doctrine. In Africa, however, the Panzer III was by far the most common German light tank. The Panzer III is also known as the Panzer Kampfwagen, meaning armor battle vehicle in English. It was upgraded and innovated to many variants, ranging from tracks to engine to armaments. This is one of the many tanks that revolutionized the standardization of equipping tanks with the anti-tank gun, the Pac-36. Yes, that's right, they keep on slapping bigger and bigger guns from the Panzer III to the Tiger II and King Tiger. Now, let's get straight to the content. The Panzerkampfwagen III or Panzer III was a German medium tank built in the 1930s that saw substantial service during World War II. SDE KFC 141 was the official German ordnance designation. It was built to engage other armored fighting vehicles as well as operate alongside and support the Panzer IV, which was initially intended for infantry support. Prototypes were made by Daimler-Benz, Krupp, Mann, and Rheinmetall. In 1936 and 1937, these were tested, and the Daimler-Benz design was selected for production. In May 1937, the first Panzer III model, the Osferung, a rolled off the manufacturing line. Ten were built that year, two of which were unarmed. In 1939, mass manufacture of the Aus variant commenced. Attempts were undertaken between 1937 and 1940 to standardize parts between Krupp's Panzer IV and Daimler Panzer III. The Panzer III was designed to be the German Army's principal battle tank. When it first faced the KV-1 and T-34 tanks, however, it was found to be inferior in both armor and gun power. The Panzer III was upgunned with a longer, more powerful 50mm gun and received thicker armor to address the rising need to resist these tanks, but it was still at a disadvantage compared to Soviet tank designs. As a result, development of self-propelled guns began, as well as the Panzer IV's upgunning. A 250 PS, 12-cylinder Maybach HL 108 TR engine propelled the Panzer III Osta through D to a top speed of 22 miles per hour. The 300 PS 12-cylinder Maybach HL 120 TRM engine was used in all later variants. The top speed was regulated and varied based on the transmission and weight, but it was usually around 25 miles per hour. The length of Panzer III is 5.56 meter, with a width of 2.90 meter, followed by a height of 2.5 meter, which was one of the standard size tank during that era. The Panzer III has a mass of 23 tons, also a well-proportionate power-to-weight ratio combination. It has a crew of five, mainly a commander, a gunner, a driver, a radio operator which also acts as a machine gunner. The crew was protected by the fully enclosed superstructure that sat above the Panzer III hull. The superstructure was made up of largely flat armored sides that were welded together in a simple square configuration. A protective visor for the driver was on the left side of the front armor plate, while a machine gun ball mount was on the right side. On the left side of the superstructure, the driver had a smaller vision port. A side view port was not provided to the radio operator. DEF and G models had a second 30mm layer of face hardened steel, with the H model having a second 30mm layer of face hardened steel applied to the front and rear hull. On the front hull and turret, the OS J, I, and M models featured a solid 50mm plate. The Panzer III has many variants. These will be explained in an upcoming video. So do smash the like and subscribe button. The Panzer III was designed to attack enemy tanks, and a 50mm cannon was specified in the early stages of development. However, the infantry at the time were equipped with the 37mm PA K36, and it was felt that the tanks should have the same armament for standardization's sake. Should a future upgrade be required, the turret ring was constructed large enough to hold a 50mm cannon as a compromise. This one decision ensured the Panzer III's continued service in the German Army. A 3.7cm KWK literally meaning fighting vehicle cannon with a 36L4-5 was fitted to the Aus Vey through early Aus G, which proved adequate during the battles of 1939 and 1940. The subsequent Aus Vef to Aus J were updated with the 5cm KWK 38L42 and the Aus J2M with the longer 5cm KWK 39L60 gun in response to increasingly superior equipped and armored opponents. The barrel length is 210cm bore. 42 calibers. The muzzle velocity is around 685 meter per second. 
and the range of the gun is from 100 meter to 1,500 meter. The second armament, the Mastin and Jeter 34 or MG 34, is a German recoil-operated, air-cooled machine gun that was first tested in 1929 and was introduced in 1934 and first issued to units in 1936. It accepts the 7.92 by 57 mm Mosser cartridge. The Panzer III was the most important German tank on the front line around the time of the start of Operation Barbarossa in the summer of 1941. The bulk of available tanks at the time, including rearmed Ost E's and FS, as well as new Ost G and H models for the invading German forces, were equipped with the 50mm KWK 38L 4250mm cannon, which was also used by the majority of Panzer III's fighting in North Africa. The Panzer III's were initially overpowered by the more advanced Soviet T-34 medium and KV series heavy tanks, the latter of which the German forces encountered in larger numbers as the invasion progressed. The top speed was controlled and fluctuated depending on the gearbox and weight of the vehicle, but it was normally around 25 miles per hour. The range was roughly 96 miles, which was quite impressive for a blitzkrieg operation, while its off-road speed is 12 miles per hour. The firepower of the tank was able to penetrate 50 mm armor from a reasonable distance. The second line of defense, the Mastin NG-34, also known as the MG-34, is a recoil-operated, air-cooled machine gun developed in Germany. The armor of the Ost D and G has a 30 mm thickness all around. The Ost J L and M models had a solid 50 mm plate on the front hull and turret. The total production is 8,553. It was built to engage other armored fighting vehicles, as well as operate alongside and support the Panzer IV, which was originally intended for infantry support. Learn more about the first German battle-tested tank and Panzer tanks from this playlist. Till then see you in the next video.